Okay, so here it is. Engine DIY shop. You can see how big it is compared to my hand. So next thing, we'll open the box and see what's inside. Uh, these are the instructions on how to put it together. Ooh, 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 that looks nice. Looks like that's the base of the heater. That looks good. Magnificent boiler, pulleys, rods. Some tools here to put it together. You've got some spare seals for the boiler, some more metal parts, which well, we'll have to see how they fit in. Uh, looks like something to do with the burner there. It's got two positions, and the burner's got two um, part for it, which uh, looks like the risers and supports, vertical supports. And here we have the bits I looked at earlier, my wheel, beautifully made, Ooh, bevel gears. Oh, here's the boiler. Nice. Brass. Yeah, all sorts of bits and pieces. So, 84 pieces in total. I think I got that right. So now the next thing is to have a look at the plans and start building it up. <laughs> oh, it should be good.
Well, this is, it's all built up. It looks fantastic. And yeah, it all went without a hitch. It was dead easy to do. So yeah, she's, uh, she's all ready to go. So I'll oil everything, put in some water and we'll see what happens. And we'll just finish it off nicely. This little valve here controls the drain. Well, there you go, she certainly runs okay, but it's a bit, bit touchy and she's got to get everything right. And uh, when it does run, it runs quite nicely. So, what do I think of it? I think it's pretty good. Very nice, actually. And beautifully made. It's got a bit of everything. I've got a little governor there that whizzes around and help drive. And yeah, it all went together easily. Follow the plans and you can't go wrong. And then at the end of it, well, you get this. The only issue I had was getting it to run uh, initially. You have to make sure everything is loose. You know, no frick, no tight spots. I had a little bit of binding in the piston, so I took that out, just worked it up and down with a bit of lube, oiled everything up, and then I ran it on compressed air for a quarter of an hour just to make sure everything, just at low speed, just leave it running for a quarter of an hour, and that will loosen up everything, wear everything in, and that way you got minimum friction. Did that. Put some metho in the burner and fire up, and away she went. So, yeah, that's the only thing with it. That's been sure you get rid of their friction. It hasn't got a lot of power, so um, that's to do mainly with the boiler size. I think if it had a bigger boiler with more burners, it could be quite a powerful machine. But that burnt boiler is big enough but to make it run, but not producing a lot of power, you know. But overall, yeah, I'm very, very happy with it. I think it's a beautiful machine. And yeah, many thanks to the uh, engine Okay, if you want one of these, well, the link to the product is in the video description. There's also a code there. Discount code again. Use that, and uh, on top of whatever the price is in in your part of the world, uh, could turn out a reasonable buy and uh, nice bit of gear to have. Certainly looks the business. Okay, well, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this and. I'll see you next time. Cheers.